IGTV News Update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. Thursday evening was a special one for the many students who graduated from the University College of the Cayman Islands, where the Civil Service College is also located. Now, 13 of those who accepted their degrees as part of Class of 2017 are civil servants, including eight from Kim and Brack. Attending the ceremony were senior civil servants, including a chief officer of the portfolio of civil service, Mrs. Gloria McField Nixon. Um, this year, we have a large group of graduates, including a considerable contingent from the BRAC. Um, and the BRAC um, graduates include eight graduates from Cayman BRAC this year, including our valedictorian, who has managed an astonishing 4.0. So to have that type of academic accomplishment while still balancing work and family, we couldn't be more proud of this team. I, what I would really encourage of other civil servants who are either currently in their program for the associate's degree in public administration or a certificate in public administration, or if there are people who are considering possibly going back to school and taking up their studies, to really just look at this group and be reminded of what is possible with hard work and determination. And as an employer, the Cayman Islands government is very proud to be able to support the free continuing education for our civil service employees. Now, the civil servants at, who graduated earned their Associates of Arts degree in public administration and certificates in public administration. Some also received special awards. I understand that I've won a special award um, that's linked to my program through the Civil Service College, and it's for my academic excellence. Um, I graduated last night with my Associates of Arts in public administration with honors. Very happy to finally complete my degree. It's been um, not an extremely long journey, but not a short one nonetheless. Um, being a part-time student, you know, it has, it has taken longer than it would have taken a full-time student. But it has, been, uh, it has been overall a really good journey. I've, I've had a few downs, but more ups than downs. Um, I've met a lot of new people. I really appreciate all the teachers that I've had contact with and for all of the, for all of the intelligence that they've given me and for all the information. And I'm really, I really feel that I've grown in this process. And I think that it's something that every civil servant should think about. At a historical moment at the graduation ceremony was the first group of students from the Bachelor in Nursing program at UCCI receiving their diplomas. We say congratulations to all of the graduates. And we also send out congratulations to Zaria Anglin, the new tourism ambassador. Zaria, granddaughter of the Honorable McKeever Bush, Speaker of the House, earned her title following a vigorous debate at the annual tourism speak-off held on Thursday evening. A student at Grace Christian Academy, she will represent the Cayman Islands throughout 2018 at various tourism events locally and at select international forums. The Tourism Speak-Off program encourages tourism awareness amongst high school students from a local and global perspective. It is hosted by the Ministry and Department of Tourism and the Cayman Islands Tourism Association. In addition to promoting tourism awareness, the Speak Off's objective is to assist young students in developing useful communication and reasoning, as well as public speaking skills that will serve them throughout their lives, academically and professionally. Well, the Cayman National Cultural Foundation is make a, making a call for fish fry vendors for Gimme Story 2017. Vendors should submit applications by Monday, November 6. Local fish fry vendors will experience serving high volumes of customers efficiently, and they are welcome to submit applications to participate in the 2017 Gimme Story District Fish Fry Competition as well. Now, if you're interested, you should, should contact CNCF at 949-5477. Or you can email P. Beersing, that's B E E R S I N G H, one word, at artscayman.org to receive application details. Now, Gimme Story begins on November 25th at Dart Park in Georgetown and ends on December 2nd at Smith Cove, uh, that's Smith Backadier in South Sound. The nightly event usually attracts hundreds of people each night. Well, finally, if you missed today's news update, you can always go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me this entire week. Hope you'll do the same again next week, but until then, have a safe and wonderful weekend. Bye-bye for now.